If you think Buhari will give you peace, now lie. In fact, of the whole government we have had in Nigeria, this one is, is, a, is, is, is an abomination. If you like, you are an APC, you have no apology. Una don't kill us, rich. And we will not die in your hand. Amen. One day, a Messiah will come and deliver us from the hand of this evil man. We have an, we have an evil leadership. Have you ever seen him come out to make any pronouncement one day? It's only after his hidden agenda. Rubbish. If you like, go report me to presidency. They are even hearing me if they, if they, if they are on YouTube. They can't do anything, my brother. We are bleeding in Nigeria. Bleeding. I don't buy fuel, buy, buy, buy. I don't tire. I was coming out from first station which day. I said, God, which kind of wahala be this? At the time, we we're buying for 87,000. I can buy 2,000 for it to carry me. I buy 5,000. Whether on Monday, I bought another 3,000. I ordered 3,000. Just like that. And you expect me to be happy. Say, say, Baba. Useless Baba. And to make matters worse, some apostle came out and said, Buhari is a messiah. Whether some bishop or whatever. Buhari is not my message this morning. Number, so maintain calmness. What did I say? Whatever is going on in Nigeria, be calm. It must come to pass. Buhari will not be there forever. Am I talking? Yes, there is always an end. Yes, Are you hearing me? Yes, the end of all these sufferings is close in Nigeria. Yes. yes. Number three. Number four. What did I say? Huh? They are what? Hallelujah. Those who know they are God. They are contented. They are satisfied. They don't run from, from, from uh, what do you call it, prophet to prophet. They know that God will help them. I declare over your life that God will help you. Amen. You don't need the help of any man. Your father will help you. Amen. Those who know their God will show great boldness for God. Hello? Number five or six. Those who know their God have respect for God's instructions. Even if it hurts, they obey God. What did I say? They value the instruction of God. Number five, those who know they are God have great thoughts about God. They think about God. Am I talking? To know God, number six, is to desire more of Him. If you are right, maybe that's where I stopped. To know God is to what? Desire more. They are never satisfied. Only Sunday service. They want to hear more. They want to see more. I told you of uh, Moses who said, Lord, show me your way. Even after the miracles on the, I mean, of the Red Sea, he still says he has not known God. He wants to know him. Even Paul, Paul said that I might know him and the power of his resurrection. I pray that you will desire more of God. Amen. I pray that you'll be hungry for God. Amen. Let your amen be better. Amen. Bible says, Blessed are those who hunger and test, for they shall be what? Filled. Number seven. Those who know their God, nothing will be too big for them to give to God. Number eight. Until you know Him, you cannot enjoy His blessings. Are you writing? Huh? First Peter chapter 1 verse 3 says, God has given us all things that pertain to what? Life and godliness according to our what? Knowledge. What you know is what you benefit. What you know is what you gain. What you know is what you can control. Matthew 15 26, a woman came crying before the Lord and said, please help me, my daughter is dying. And Jesus said, the children's bread cannot be given to dogs. I mean, that woman was described as dogs because she was part of the Gentile world. 
world, nations. She was not an Israelite by tribe. And every other tribe that was not related to, I mean, that was not Israelites in nature, they were regarded as what? Dogs. People who eat anything. They don't forbid anything. And if you are still a Christian today in the church and yet you don't forbid anything, you are like what? A dog. Anything goes for you. In the evening, you reach out. Your friend just came Oh, but maybe we reach that beer parlor. You run there. They come. Where they are doing burial, whether it's second burial, you go there, you are eating. Where, you know, anything goes for you. You are not selective at what you do. Even the friends you have, they are anyhow. If you are like that, that person is what? A dog. Because dogs eat whatever they like. They come back to their vomit and eat. Some of you, what you have left behind many years, you are still going back secretly to drink and do other things. Carry women. That person is like what? A dog. Until you know him. Can I ask you a question? Was that woman not having one head and two legs as the Israelites are having? But because she was not a covenant daughter of Abraham, Jesus said you cannot receive the blessing. Until you become covenanted to Christ. You are just coming to church, the blessings of God will not manifest. It is when you know him that you can enjoy his blessing. Somebody say, I hear you. Somebody say, I hear you. Number what? Eight or nine. Those who know him, we honor him in the lives of his messengers. Those who know God, we honor him in the life of God's word, messengers. Matthew chapter 10 verse 40, you can display. Luke 10, 16. If you have no regard for the messengers of God, it's a, it's, it, 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 it's, it's a rating. It's a measure of the amount of knowledge you have about God. Anyone who receives you, receive me. Christ was the one speaking here. And anyone who receives me, receive the Father who sent me. There's no way you bypass the prophet who is put over your life to think, I beg, let the pastor go and die. That's not my business. That at least now God I can't serve, not be pastor. Actually, you never came to serve pastor. But hear me. Your benefit, your blessings are put in the hands of the man on the altar. The altar has the power to alter your life. You didn't hear me. A-L-T-A-R has the power to A-L-T-E-R to change your life either for good or bad. You didn't hear me. Did you hear that? The power of the altar can alter your life. It can change your life for good or for bad. Don't underrate the altar Hello? Do not do what? No, 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 no. God told Abraham, those who bless you, they are blessed. Those who curse you, they are cursed. And Jesus is also repeating that covenant and saying to the disciples, anyone that receives you, receives me. Anyone you bless is blessed. That's the meaning. Anyone that rejects you, rejects me. And anyone who rejects me, rejects the one don't ever come to church with the notion, forget about all this power, what pastor say, now he be my God. He's not my God. He's not actually your God. Anyone who receives you, receive me. I said, Luke chapter 10, verse 16. Can somebody open Second Chronicles? Chapter 20, verse 20. Then he said, anyone who accepts your message is also accepting me. Anyone who rejects you, reject me. And anyone who rejects me is rejecting God who sent me. These are categorical statements. They are principles, principled statements. Am I talking somebody? Oh, you are not hearing me. These are statements that cannot be bent. I mean, bent. They are not, they can't be modified. They are cut it's straight to the point. You reject, you, you accept the servant of God when, when that is posted to your church. You are accepting who? Christ. You reject him and you treat him anyhow. You are despising who? Christ. And those who know God, they will always honor God in the life of his servant. We are nothing, but if not the God we carry. Hello? 2020, I said. He said, early the next morning, the army of Judah went out to the wilderness of Tekoa on the way. Jehoshaphat stopped and said, listen to me. All you people of Judah and Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God 
and you will be able to stand. Believe in his prophets and you will succeed. How many of you want to succeed there? Raise up your hand if you want to succeed. Success will locate you. Amen. But you must be akin to you know taking every instruction that is coming from where the altar. When the man of God says, Stand well in the church, do what? Stand. When the man of God says, Do this, do it. It's for your own benefit. Hello? Nobody needs your tithe, like God said last week through that woman whom he was talking through. God said, Do I use your money? Nobody so you talk. Answer me. God said, Do I use your money? Have you seen where God comes to collect your tithe and is using it? But anytime you support the altar, you are supporting the work of God, and there will be food in the house of God, and God Himself will be what? Happy. And He will bless you. You didn't hear me. Don't play with men of God. They might dress the way you dress. It does not make any difference. But what they carry is what matters. I told you of an old soldier who was content. I mean, who were clearing the, my first station at Uzea. were clearing the land to start the church. And the land was having common boundary with this man. And he came around and said, you have caught this. I said, where, where did they call this? He couldn't even give any info explanation. I just know he wants to make sure because he's an Igbo smoker. And at the end of the day, he said, Get out, you be pastor. Now you can't follow your member clear. Our reverend father does not, he cannot be doing this with his members. I said, But I'm not a reverend father, I am a pastor. And a pastor is a shepherd who leads by what example. And to cut the long story short, the man was talking, and I said, I will slap you. And all that. that was why I got provoked. I said, Lift your hand and slap. If you use this hand after two weeks, you will know I'm not a pastor. I will pack out of this village. You know, I mean, I said, ah, you are boasting with a uh, charm. I said, where is the charm? He did all the nonsense he could do, insulting me, he left. But the wife who fears God, the wife who knows the abomination of insulting a man of God, ran to my house and was begging, but I was not at home. And then the following week, is it the following week? This man, I've never heard he has been sick was rushed to Urumi. After three days, <laughs> can he go and talk to a Yilala priest like that? Answer me. You know, because we don't wear this jaku jaku. Uh -huh. Jaku jaku, red uh, all this cowry and this. You know, I said, I said can do that small boy say the pastor. My second son. I mean, even the last son of me. Is, is he not senior to I can control. But even if, it's a, even if it's a small boy that is at that shrine, you know that house they paint red in the Bini Road, Anilala House. Can anybody go there and do any harm? Answer me. If you put Juju in mango, can anybody do any harm? But they were bold enough to tear my neck and remove the money I reserved for tithes. Has that person not died? The person is already dead. Whether you say yes or not, he's already dead. Unless the person comes out to say, please, I am sorry. Watch out. That person's life is already turned upside down. Those who know God, even me as a pastor, I still respect those whom I know they are higher than me in the ministry. I respect the anointing in them. Because all of us do not carry the same grace. Am I to somebody? I can't talk to my leader and say, I beg even when we maintain the same age, yet, or why, sir? No, no, sir. I respect the anointing of God on him. But some who are foolish say, I carry Pastor Trouble. I told you of a young man who is not even up to the age of my junior brother. I was telling, if this one see me for real, fear go let and talk to him. I'm not go beat him. I say, Monday, I mean, they talk. They say, yes, what do you go do? And an elderly woman will say, Monday. They know they talk to a priest, oh, hey, like this. So he said, I bet. Which oh, hey, if this one see me for road, he go, he go feed talk. Go, go. I told you. At a walk in me, three days later, he went to climb up. A fresh branch broke off. He fed the knee, entered the ground. 
and they will be talking blood. Only fools do not have respect for God. You will not be like that. Am I talking? Those who know God, they have respect for men of God. Even whether they play with you, whether they laugh with you, don't take it for, how do I call it? For granted. Let there be no overward familiarity. The cutlass that you, you handle every day can cut you. True or false? Ajede, are you or not? Cutlass weapons they handle every day can, can do what? If it's not well handled. May that not be your portion in Jesus' name. Saul, so, who was already I mean, rejected by God, 2 Samuel, chapter 24. David had opportunity to kill him, even when he was pursuing David up and down. True or false? Answer me now. Did he do it? The, 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 the sons of Abishai, sorry, this, yeah, something like that, that's the brothers. They were saying, Oga, okay, this is the chance we have been waiting for. God said he will give your enemies into your hand. Just permit her. That was Abishai and there's some other. They were his brothers. Not Matan brother. I think the brother, the, the sister gave birth to them. Joab uh, people. He said, just give me once I will finish him. David said, you don't the you don't the colo. You finish you. You know fear? Who will lay his hands against the lost anointed and be free? Is that not what he said? David said, not be me and you. He said, leave him up. Maybe if his time comes to die, God knows how to kill him. But for me, using my God forbid. Two times. Two times. But look at the same song. There was a time. You see, when you see people who treat pastors any other time, you will know whether they know God or not. The same saw. A time came that somebody told a lie to him, Doeg, an Edomite, who was there when David came to Abimelech, the priest, to say, is any, any bread there? He said, the only bread went there now, the shoe bread for the priest. David said, give it to me. I'm a priest. Well, David was more than just an ordinary king who, he took, he said, any sword, he said, only the sword of uh, Goliath. Ah, ah, don't be me kill, huh? Give me. That is good. It's even the best of all. This Edomite was there. Malachite was there. Are you getting me? And David didn't know that this one would go and tell uh, King Saul. And the time King Saul was saying, what did the son of Jesse promise all of you that you have conspired with him to, to betray me? Because he was already a frustrated word. Ma, because God has already rejected him. Are you hearing me? And Doeg said, hey, I forgot to tell you, the other day, David even met uh, Ahimelech, and he gave him bread, he gave him salt. Ah! Huh? He did what? A priest in my kingdom. Where are you? Go and call him, go and call him. And they called Ahimelech with some others as they came. He said, what I hear, is it true? The king said, ah, ah. Is it today I started the uh, divining for David? Is he not your one of your best uh, best men? He thought it was a matter of a joke. Saul said, eh, you, you were bold enough to still really tell me you did it. You must die. And Saul told the soldiers, oh yeah, kill the priest and his children. The soldiers said, oh cook, oh I mean, I oh criminal. Uh, Oh, uh, king, not me, me and you. No soldier was able to lift up his hand against the priest. Go and read your Bible. He said, kill him and his children. They said, not me, me and you. They know the implication of laying hands upon the priest. And this Amalekite, this unbeliever, he now told him, oh, yeah, you won't tell me. Kid them. That one, Zuguzu like uh, Egu. Ozu. He carries so. Kill the man and all his children. And he said, never finish you. Go to that town. Anybody you see there, whether in a small picking, the town of the priest, finish all of them. 
Each time I read there, my body go to shake. The priest of God. And really, they went in there, finished almost all the lineage of Aaron. Killed all of them. Who was doing this? A man that no longer has anything to do with God. When you are fighting the pastor, it's a sign that you are, you are already away from God. Even when the pastor offends you, if you know God, you will still say, not because of the pastor, but because of who? That was how the whole priest were almost wiped out. Only one, Ahito, was able to run away. I went to tell David. David said, it's my fault. I should have known that when that man was there, he would have gone to do this. But David never wanted to shed innocent uh, blood. That was how the whole priest were almost what, wiped out. When you know God, you can't lay your hands on the Lord's anointed. Don't join that group if they are in this church. Am I talking to somebody? Anytime they are discussing pastor, pastor, wise matter. Wrong! What did I say should do? Because it brings nothing but a cause. The Lord help us in Jesus' name. Let me quickly see if I can round up. Why do you need to know God? Number one. Why do you need to know God? Number one. It is the source of your strength. What did I say? You are not hearing me. It is what? It is the only way you derive what? Strength. It is the energy to serve. It is the only way you can be strong as a child of God. When you don't know God, you are weak. What did I say? Please repeat what I said. I'm powerless. Say it. Those who don't know God, they are biscuit in the hands of the devil. Are you hearing me, sir? If, if they like which both say they want to kill me, can they kill me? Can they kill you? No. They can't kill us because we know the God we are serving. Ah, yeah, yeah. Am I talking to somebody? I told you a man called me during that Easter retreat and said, yes, I saw seven skeletons surround you. They said they will kill you. I said, you are not far from the truth, but they will not be able to do anything. Have I died? No. You will not die. Yeah. My only prayer, if it's possible for me to kneel down and beg, I bet me check that man. Toby. Oh, I, I, don't sleep. My only begging of the Lord, serve God. Where? Let me see the death that will come and remove you. In no day. The Bible said as, as, a, as, as if something flies, sparrow flies, so and does not perish, so shall a cause, causeless not stand. A cause cannot stand in your life without a reason. Proverb, is that what it said? A cause causeless shall not what? Stand. Before you see something happen, whether sickness, sometimes a door has been what? I know I'm me. Door has been what? I'm not saying pastor cannot be sick or pastor cannot die. But it's very rare for God to leave you and see evil happen. God cannot support evil. Hello? Am I talking at all? When you know God, you will be audacious. They will throw arrow, it will not hit you. Amen. Those of you who always like to go to market on Sunday, begin to go. Those of you who not want to come to church every Sunday, go ahead. But you are reducing your strength. Hello. When you stand well for God, the devil knows you. What did he tell uh, that man in Acts chapter 19? The man was trying to cast out him. He said, Paul, I know. Peter, I know. Who are you? Do you know that they know you in the covo? Oh, you are not talking. You are not talking. Do you know that they know Reverend Okoja in the covo? Yes, sir. I don't hear many confessions, even for this place. They know me. Even the little girl that was saying, they said they should kill Reverend Okoji. Well, sitting before me in my office here, last month, before that man came to tell me, they know that I am a trouble to them in their kingdom. And that's how you are if you know God. Light and darkness cannot stay. Have you ever seen where darkness overcome light? No power will overcome you. 
you are not hearing me. Uh-huh. Listen to me. I don't care where they carry your matter to. Yes, I don't sir. know who has vowed to finish you. Uh-huh. But as you stay close to God, uh-huh. as you make God your father, uh-huh. as you make God your friend, uh-huh. as you make God your brother, uh-huh. those who want to kill you, they shall die before your uh-huh. time. I am sure you are not sure you can't be sitting down and say I'm strong. Lift your hand and say I am strong. I am sure. Say I am stronger than any native doctor. I am stronger than any stronger than any witches and wizards. I am stronger than any witches and wizards. I am stronger than any water agent. I am stronger than no water agent. I cannot be chewed like a fowl. I can't die like a fowl. Yes, sir. I can't be sick like a fowl. Yes, sir. No power will take my life. Yes, sir. Say what I ask you to say. Say no power can take my life. No power can take Say my life. Say I will not die like a fowl. I will not die like a fowl. Uh, you are not an ordinary person. Yes, sir. The God who lives in you, the God who lives in you, like the girl was saying. They said they said they should kill me. I said, can they kill me? She said no. The other woman who was also confessing last two weeks or three weeks. He said, they said, because Reverend Kojin made the church fine. Now they said, they kill her. And now said, can they kill me? She said, no. He said, Jesus said, before they go kill you, they go kill her first. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Hey! Hey! I prophesy. I will say 50 persons here. Ah. That any power that wants to kill you, hey. they shall meet with God. Hey. They shall meet your God. Hey. They shall meet your God. Hey. Planning to come to your house, ah. they will see Jesus. Hey. They will see Jesus. Hey. They will see Jesus. Hey. I don't know what conspiracy ah. that is upon your life. Ah. Anywhere they mention your name, hey. Jesus shall appear. Hey. Jesus shall appear. Hey. Jesus shall appear. Hey. Shall fire. fire. Those who said they must kill you, ah. they will see Jesus. Hey. When they invoke your name, ah. when they invoke your children's name, hey. your God will answer. 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 Hey. I don't know who I'm talking to this ah. morning. I don't know why you are afraid. Hey. Hear me, child of God. Hey. Those who say you must die, hey. they will die before you. Hey. I prophesy into your life. They shall die before you. Let them put something on the ground. Uh-huh. You will pass it. Amen. Let something enter your body. Hey. It shall be melted by fire. Hey. I know you, sir. Yes, sir. Nobody can kill you. Hey. Before they kill you, they will kill Jesus. Hey. Can anybody kill Jesus? No. Shout no. No. That Jesus is with you. Amen. I might tell somebody. Yes, sir. I don't know the battle that's meeting you in the night. Uh-huh. I don't know those you are seeing in your dream. Hey. From today, hey. I decree and I prophesy. Hey. Every power when you say you know go get rest. Hey. Every power when you say you know ever have peace. Hey. Every power that say you will not be free. Hey. After today, uh-huh. the judgment of God located. Hey. Hey. Wherever they are coming from, hey. Mali, Yende, Surya, ah. any power that says hey. sickness today, hey. accident tomorrow, hey. problem today, hey. problem the other day, hey. as I place my leg on this arm, ah. I release judgment to locate them. Hey. I command judgment to locate them. Hey. I command judgment to locate them. Hey. follow you this year uh-huh. they say they will never leave you to have peace uh-huh. and declare, and declare uh-huh. after this time hey. you are receiving your freedom hey. you are receiving your deliverance hey. I am talking to 20 persons here uh-huh. you are receiving your freedom hey, you are receiving your deliverance hey. it is in the word of God touch not my anointing uh-huh. you are the favorite of God hey. you are the anointed of God hey. you are a 
chosen generation. Hey. You are a special people. Hey. You are not like every other person. Hey. I came to announce ah. after today, hey. God shall fight your battles. Hey. God shall fight for you. Hey. Sure, you are not saying, Say, I am a strong man. Strong I am woman. a strong man. Say, I am a strong man. I am a strong man. If you are a woman, say, I am a strong woman. I am a strong hey! man. Hey! Power not there, another place. No, I speak with boldness. Ah? If anyone get another power, hey! no other thing. This night, come and try me. Aha. Power not there, another place. Yes, sir. The only true power. Uh -huh. Shout Jesus. Jesus. He is the same yesterday. Uh -huh. He is the same today. Uh -huh. He is the same forever. Hey. Say yes. I hear you, sir. Uh -huh. The only reason why you see that certain things you are not supposed to be going through, you are going through is your weakness in your commitment the lapses some of the things you do you don't do it with a free heart you do many things grudgingly you come to church if i not come now pastor not go let me rest no 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 what god desires is a heart of love god says those who honor me i will do what honor do everything like you are seeing god as you are seeing pastor as you go on the road see him like that He's not far from you. He's your father. He determined, I mean, he desires the best for you. He said, the plans I have for you are plans to prosper you. Every anti-prosperity spirit uh -huh. that has been released against your family. Hey. After today, uh -huh. they die by fire. Hey. Those who know God, they are strong. One the reason you must be serious after this time is so that you can be strong. I've been pastoring for 31 years. I've gone through villages. No native doctor has been able to stand against my God. The whole native doctors in the world came in. They faced me in, in a contest. I was boasting. They were boasting. I've told you several times. And yet they failed. Before one of them died, be like broom. I never stay home one day and not forget to begin. Do you know what I'm saying? The Bible says he's the light that came into the world. And darkness was never, and has never, will never be able to understand. If they can't understand him, they cannot understand you. Sir. I'm trying to tell you there is power in this church. There is power in Christianity. Yes, sir. I beg you in the name of Jesus, draw close to him. You are not hearing me. Should I be ringing bell every time to tell you there's Bible study? Should I be ringing bell to say, love him with all your heart? You will see much of him. You will even come to say, God, why are not we know you like this? It is sweet to 
Serving God is the sweetest thing. I never knew for many years until I came to surrender. Surrender your life. Stand up, everybody. I'll finish it next time. Don't clap for me. Lift your hand and say, Father, help me to know you. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. If you like. If you like. It's not magic. It's not magic. It's not magic. God is alive. Jesus is the Lord. He's higher than anything. He's higher. He's greater. Help me to do you. He's higher. More and more. Deeper in your world. Help me to know you. Help me, Lord. Help me to know you. I want to have more of you. Help me to know you. I want to know you the more. Deeper. I want to know you Help in a deeper dimension. Father, every day of my life, Jesus possess my life. Help me, Lord. Possess my thoughts. Possess my actions. Possess everything about me as I sleep. Let me see you. As I move on the road, let me see you. As I drive, let me see you. Father, help me to know you. 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 Give me grace to grow Help in you. Me, Lord. I pray for you. Harrison. May the Lord open your eyes. Amen. May you know him. Amen. The author of life. Amen. The owner of peace. Amen. The owner of power. Amen. May you know him. And be blessed by him. Amen. Whatever I see that is standing between you and God, I cross them today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every day, every minute, every second, from Monday to Sundays, may this God be close to you. Amen. And may you be close to him. Amen. May his grace increase every day in your life. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Take out your offering fast. Take out your offering. Take out.